Carteret County is the tale of two counties. Never really thought anybody cared much about Town East, especially if they're from the western part of the county. But right now, we've been through so much, my goodness. Coast now, where there again going to be a deadly storm surge, incredible, about, uh, incredible amounts of rain, and uh, also... During Hurricane Florence, you know, you see that people just kind of come together. You drop political lines or racial lines, any of that stuff is no matter. Do you have a neighbor that needs something, needs help, and you know, you help each other. There are a lot of people, not even just down east, that are still not back in their homes from a storm that happened more than a year ago. Although we're not at the top of the rankings as far as economic opportunity, we're not at the bottom either. The commercial fishing business was the first industry in Carteret County. It's more than just a business. It is the people who are carrying on traditions of Carter County. I think I have the best job as a commercial fisherman and uh, I love the freedom of being able to go out on the water and you know, it's something I've done all my life. Most people want to see that their kids can get a good job so they understand the need for some growth, but I think it, you know, sustainable growth is a big kind of buzzword now, you know, that they want to see that it's not overdeveloped or developed in a way that doesn't fit in with this area. I don't really have any politics other than fish politics. <laughs> My observations have been that the process has been manipulated by individuals involved in a commission that governs such things, not because they're qualified to sit on this board, but just because of political clout. And I don't care about political clout. I think it is a bunch of BS, and that's why I don't really have all the faith in the world in politicians anyway. The only constant in nature is change. So climate change is going to be there whether we like it or not. I think development and developers want to ignore it. You can't ignore it now. I don't think it's all due to human interaction. Is it impactful? You're doggone right. But this stuff's going to happen anyway. We just aren't going to see it because we're just like a gnat in the <laughs> time-space continuum, whatever. Unfortunately, you know, a lot of people, including myself, feel like you're kind of picking the lesser of two evils almost and who you're going to vote for. I have registered when I was 18 as an unaffiliated voter, and nothing I have ever seen from politics has persuaded me to change my mind about that. I'd like to see that a politician for once, rather than the first 100 days, see how much stuff they could push through, say let's just stop doing anything for the first 100 days and ask the public that we represent what they would like to see happen. If the issue is great enough, we will be heard because we're a loud people down here. Very loud.